It's time for 5-Minute Advice for Authors, brought to you by Twin Flame Studios. I'm Nanette Norman. I am the author of two books that came out this year. One I co-authored, The Psychological Safety Playbook with Carolyn Helbig, and my new book is The Boldly Inclusive Leader. I am a former tech executive, and now I spend my time doing consulting, speaking, and writing on the topic of inclusive leadership. What I want readers to take away from my books is that, especially if you are in any kind of a leadership position, you play a huge role in the experience of your employees and your peers at work. And small changes in your behavior can have such a profoundly positive impact. And it takes practice because it's not flipping a switch and suddenly suddenly you're an inclusive leader, suddenly there is psychological safety. It takes ongoing work and commitment. And so what I hope people take away is that I can make small changes every day and that's gonna make a huge difference. One tip that I will share that I think will be helpful to every leader and every reader of my books is that you do not have to be perfect. It's okay to try things and make mistakes and keep learning. It's really about showing up as a human being. My advice to authors comes from two different experiences I had because the first book I co-wrote with an author in Germany and the second book I wrote myself. So the first piece of advice I would have is put time in your schedule for writing. It doesn't magically happen. And I I remember thinking I was going to write a book while I had a full-time job in tech and I just couldn't do it because I needed blocks of time, at least two to three hour blocks of time to really sit down. It's not that in five minutes you can get all your ideas together. So I think one of the most important things is if you're committed to writing a book, you have to commit the time. And I will also say that there are good days and bad days. So even if I had three hours in my schedule, five days a week, some days I got a lot of writing done in that time. And some days it was a couple of paragraphs. And that's okay too. Those are all part of the process that it's not linear and it's not that we get a thousand or 2000 words written every day. Sometimes we just need to explore and read other things and get some ideas to get the juices flowing. I will say it was a delight to work with someone else on a book, to have a co-author, because our skills complemented each other's. And it's it can be very lonely writing. So if you are not working with a co-author and you're working alone, what I would advise is find some early readers who will give you feedback, who will encourage you, who will tell you what's working and what's not working and what's missing. I think that is really, really helpful because honestly, it can be so lonely sitting, sitting in your office or wherever you do your writing and trying to figure out is, is this good? Am I on the right track or have I totally missed the boat? And so I I definitely appreciated having early readers. What I loved the most about doing my audiobook with Twin Flame Studios was the voice in my head of Stephen George. He was so gentle. He has this lovely voice and he would always just tell me when we needed to do it again, when I'd miss something. It was never harsh. It was never critical. It was so encouraging. And then it was the when you're ready. And I was ready. And he just was a great partner. I loved having him in my ear the whole time. Thanks for joining us on 5-Minute Advice for Authors. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more. And visit us at TwinFlameStudios.com.